more sawdust arrived. <gasps> Spread it thick on those paths, real thick. She's going to do her own area with like five or six buckets. It's not too dusty, it's a little moist. You mix some older sawdust in with it, so. This is basically a mountain of sawdust. Pretty happy with it. It's about 12 to 14 yards. The sawdust itself is from a local sawmill, and it's tulip poplar, so it's a hardwood, but it's, it's a softish hardwood, it's not oak. It won't have all those tannic acids in it and tannins. It's a pretty good wood for mulching in my view. It'll decompose a little quicker than oak. The sawdust itself cost about a hundred dollars and then hauling it cost fifty dollars which I'm totally happy to pay fifty dollars for someone to haul this. If I were to haul this out here in my truck either in the form of mulch or sawdust it would be at least twelve loads um, which if I was only unloading it would take me multiple days to do, so it's totally worth for me paying fifty dollars. The plan for all the sawdust is to, for starters, mulch paths heavily in all these beds down here. Mulch all around the beds and as applicable, say with the beans, which run right down the middle, mulch up to the plants on top of the beds. We're gonna mulch sections at the top of the garden with sawdust. And then, here's the part I'm excited about. I wanna start some composting with sawdust. I have a ton of really high nitrogen manure in the barn. And if I take the sawdust and mix it at the right ratio with that nitrogen rich hay and straw from the barn, I can know I can make some really nice compost for next year's garden that we can come through and top dress our beds. So I finally feel like I found a source that is affordable for me, a carbon source, a wood source. We've never been able to get people to deliver wood chips out here. I've, we've talked to them, we've offered to pay them, we've chased them down when they were driving down the road, but no one wants to drive you know, an extra couple miles when they can just dump wood chips anywhere. Out here in the country, you can just pull off on the side of the road. There's tons and tons of land. People just dump wood chips. There's lots of places. We're also growing potatoes with a little different method this year. I've mentioned this in a previous video. We're going to um, hill the potatoes with straw and with sawdust to make harvesting potatoes easier. And then the final use for this wonderful resource is at the end of this season we will get another load of sawdust and cover the whole lower portion of the garden including the beds over everything and hopefully be able to transition to no-till system in this lower portion of the garden between a heavy mulching of sawdust and compost that we've made ourselves. I really really want to do this I'm really excited about it and I think we have the resources now that we can just make that transition and then maybe the whole garden maybe the following year. Who knows, maybe next year the whole garden. We're definitely about to run out of light here. The sun's gone down quite a while back. It is so pretty. Hope you don't get too tired of me saying that but I love it. The irony of the timing with this huge sawdust pile is that I have to go back to work for the first time this week since the baby. I've taken off a paternity leave, which has been amazing. But I'm going back to work, so I won't have, I won't be able to just come out here and spread this out all week and knock it out. Hopefully we'll knock it out by the end of the week. Grace says she will. <laughs> Thanks, Grace. All the girls are gonna spread it while I'm at work. That's great. Well, this has been another great day in the homestead. Thank you for joining us. There's, we got a lot of stuff I'd love to share. The, the broody duck is doing awesome in her new home. We're air layering our grapes. Uh, about to get uh, some fruit trees in the mail. What, at this time of year? Yeah, at this time of year. I'll tell you more about that um, when they come. Y'all have a great night. Mm -hmm.